Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can obtain Epsilon Square for a cross call Wallace test using R. The Epsilon Square will be based on the formula found uh, shown as here. Uh, H over N square minus 1 over N plus 1. And it's coming from this article, uh, the need to report effect sizes, etc. by Tomsek. And note that it's a bit unclear if the adjusted H value for tie should be used or that we can simply use the adjusted version. Um, so adjusted or unadjusted. I'll be using the adjusted version, which is the default that comes from the cross call or Wallace test in R. As an example, uh, I have uh, a small data file that's using semicolons uh, as separators and it has a few missing values, so this accounts for that. So I'll load that in. So in my global environment, by pressing Ctrl Enter, um, I actually get the data. As you can see, it has two variables, location and motivation. And as you can see, there are a few missing values. And let's see how to get epsilon square. The first thing we need is uh, the statistic, the H value of the cross call test, uh, which can be obtained by performing cross call dot test and then uh, you choose the ordinal or scale variable and then the tilde which means by location which is then the nominal variable and I want the statistic uh, I don't need its uh, label to go with it so that's why this unname is there and I'll be storing that uh, under age adjust so let's load that in and to show you the results that's 21.33 rounded what we also need is the number uh, of pairs. Uh, one way of obtaining that is by creating a quick table from the two variables and then sum up the results. And I'll store that under N. And again, just to show you, there are 54 pairs. Then epsilon squared can be calculated by obtaining that H value multiplied by N plus 1 and then divide by N squared minus 1. So let R do that for you and the result can now be shown to be in this case 0 0.40 and that's how you can obtain an epsilon squared from R for a Groskow Wallace test.